My cakes have been called a lot of things. Impressive, realistic, innovative, weird. But one thing that they typically aren't is big. But that changes today, my friends, because I'm about to attempt one of my biggest, most ambitious cake builds ever. And why am I taking on this extreme cake challenge? Because I think it'll be fun. I really want this cake to be fun and have a fantasy element. Fun, fantasy, fantasy. You know, I put the words together. Big time thank you to Google Play for sponsoring this video and making this massive and delicious cake experiment possible. This fantasy themed cake will be colorful and cute, and I'm gonna go tall. Like, really, really tall. A cake so tall and gravity defying that it looks like it might tip over at any moment. But it won't, probably. It probably won't tip over. This cake is going to be a 10-tier cake to celebrate the 10-year anniversary of Candy Crush Saga. And each cake tier will be inspired by one of the iconic characters or candies from the game, from Mr. Yeti all the way to Color Bomb. My name is Natalie Sidesurf, and I make cakes that don't look like cakes. And today I'm gonna show you how I made a Candy Crush Saga cake. I love the colors, shapes, and characters found in the game. So rather than go for realism today, I'm going to embrace the poppy cartoon style of Candy Crush Saga. And it's gonna be really tall. Did I mention that yet? It's gonna be big. Mr. Yeti is strong, he's reliable, and a good friend. All the perfect traits to support the very bottom base of this massively large cake. I'm sculpting Mr. Yeti out of modeling chocolate directly on the side of a buttercream snow-covered cake. As if he's popping out of the center. Like, surprise! I was here the whole time, in the cake. <laughs> to represent his fur, I'm sticking finely chopped fresh coconut onto Mr. Yeti. The coconut is the perfect texture to make him look all soft and fuzzy. And it smells so good. To create the illusion of ice shards, I'm placing rock candy all around him. Because he's a Yeti, so he's in a world of ice and snow. In Candy Crush Saga, a lollipop hammer is a booster that can be used to smash any candy of your choice. So when I'm just one candy away from beating a level in Candy Crush Saga, that's when I bust out my lollipop hammer. This is definitely my favorite booster in the game. So I decided to place tons and tons of lollipop hammers all around this cake tier. I even added a little bit of edible sparkle to them to emphasize just how much I like them. So pretty. And now, on to my favorite character in Candy Crush Saga, Bubblegum Troll. Bubblegum Troll plays pranks on everyone in Candy Kingdom, but all in good fun. And I relate to Bubblegum Troll because I am a bit of a prankster myself. <laughs> I make hyper-realistic cakes that trick people into thinking they aren't cakes, but rather everyday objects. For this cake tier, Bubblegum Troll is peeking around the side of the cake with a very cheeky smile, because you know he's up to something. I'm decorating this tier to look like Candy Kingdom with some cute cartoon-like bushes, too. I melted pink marshmallows into a soft, stretchy consistency, and now I'm scooping it into my hands and stretching it over the bushes. This melted marshmallow goo looks just like bubblegum. To me, the purple candy is the most interesting shaped candy of the bunch. So I decided to make one large one to be placed in the center of this cake tier. I'm rolling up seven evenly sized balls of modeling chocolate and I'm placing them into the purple candy shape. Then I just blanket a sheet of purple modeling chocolate over top and I work it into the shape as well. Now that my purple candy is finished, I can place it on the side of my cake tier. Look at that fun shape, I love it. In Candy Crush Saga, wrapped candies are great because they blow up surrounding candies. So I'm celebrating this extremely helpful candy by making a 100% edible version of the wrapped yellow lemon drop. I made a mold of a large lemon drop candy and now I'm filling it with yellow chocolate. Once the chocolate sets up, I pop my yellow lemon drop candy out and now I can make as many lemon drop candies as I'd like this way. To create the edible wrapping for my wrapped candy, I'm using a clear sheet of gelatin that looks just like plastic. Gotta include those zigzag edges of the candy packaging. I'm using zigzag scissors that are perfect for the job. It's crazy that each of these candies are 100% edible, wrapping and all. 
Olivia is a pink octopus who is an adventurous multitasker. Multitasking is the name of the game for this massive cake. So I'm embracing my inner Olivia. 10 tears is a lot of tears and a lot of years. Rather than placing Olivia onto a round cake tier, I've decided to make her the cake tier because I want to showcase her fun winding tentacles. I love adding texture to characters. So instead of sculpting her super smooth, I'm warming up the modeling chocolate with a heat gun and adding a slightly lumpy texture to her with a towel. This is a fantastic texture. It's a nice contrast against all those super smooth candies that I made. The yellow fish candy is the only candy on this cake that I sculpted as its own tier. And that's because it's my favorite candy in the entire game. The way this special candy works is once you activate a fish candy, it swims off the screen and then it calls its friends in for backup. And then three new fish candy friends swim onto the screen and they hit three random squares. Now that it's sculpted, I'm brushing on a shiny edible glaze because this is a fish candy and fish candy are shiny. And I like shiny things. Tiffy is the oh-so-important main character who helps you along your Candy Crush saga journey. She introduces you to all the challenges and characters throughout the game. She has pink shoes, a pink dress, blonde hair, and pigtails. I'm sculpting her balancing on the fish candy, and she's holding up the final two tiers of the cake. Tiffy is the part of this cake where things get a little iffy because her legs and arms are super delicate. And the more delicate her extremities, the less sturdy the cake. We can't celebrate 10 years of Candy Crush Saga without Tiffy. All the candies in Candy Crush Saga can be turned into striped candy. And that's a big deal because striped candies clear a whole row or column of candies. So I'm celebrating by dedicating this cake tier to striped orange lozenge candies. And guess what? Orange is my favorite candy flavor. It's my go-to. What's your favorite flavor candy? Let me know in the comments. For the very top tier of the entire cake, I'm making a color bomb cake topper. A color bomb is the most powerful special candy in the game. It's a chocolate ball covered in smaller colorful ball candies all around the outside. So that's exactly how I made my version. Why mess with a good thing? This is a real life color bomb. And finally, the very last and most important part of this cake is the Candy Crush Saga's 10th anniversary logo, because that's what this cake is celebrating. This cake has been an insane journey with so many individual characters and candies that all come together to make one cohesive, massive, impressive cake. And shout out to Google Play for being where Candy Crush Saga first caught my eye because it allowed me to live out my fantasy and bring this incredible cake idea to life. Whether it's Candy Crush Saga or any of the other 2 million games and apps on Google Play, there's bound to be one that suits your taste. Do you guys get it? All right, are you ready to see the cake in its entirety? Here we go. And there you have it. A cake to celebrate 10 years of Candy Crush Saga. This is by far the largest cake that I've ever made on this channel. Look how close it is to the ceiling. <laughs> Each of the 10 tiers are playful, colorful, and unique with so many different textures and edible materials. It has chocolate, gelatin, marshmallow, coconut, rock candy, lollipops, buttercream, and of course, cake. All right, friends, let's cut the cake. I had so much fun making this cake that I even made the table cake too. I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> I love to surprise you guys, you know me. Thanks again to Google Play for helping me make one of my largest, craziest cakes ever. And happy 10th birthday to Candy Crush Saga. Make sure to check out the link in my video description to download Candy Crush Saga and discover even more great games on Google Play.